bigger steps today. Yes, a really good step forward. We we think we could have won it. You know, we we um, I just thank the players. I mean, I I uh, I asked them to stick to a couple of structural points today. They did it. The discipline was 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 excellent. But I was really impressed with the way that we we connected so well. You know, we engaged in that structure. We we took parts of the pitch and sort of made them our own. They had other parts, we had our parts. And although they had the possession, I thought we turned that into some excellent chances, probably the best chances of the game. So I'm just really, really proud of them. They they played really well, stuck to plan. We could easily have easily have got a goal um, off the back of it. And uh, we march on. It's a, it's a good point and a really good step forward for that belief in our team. I feel we're a fraction away from Scored two or three in a game. Three really good chances, weren't there, in that first half? Elliot Liss with one either side of the goalkeeper, and that's in the back of the net. Then you had one blocked, and then there was the header that came off the post from Luke Norris as well. Yeah, I mean, it's all ifs. If you know, if the keeper hadn't saved it, if someone hadn't got in the way, it's all ifs. But we're putting the ball in the right areas, and we're getting players in there. Every game will be different. You know, every, every single game will be different, and we have to apply ourselves great structure that gives us a platform in the game and then we have to play with rhythm we, we're getting a rhythm in the way we break forward now which I'm pleased about there's, there's, there's certainly a tenacity to the way we break through the midfield third um, and we're a fraction away from from, from scoring I think the best chance of the game was Elliot List in the second half sliding down the side keeper was on his line and he put it over the bar it's probably the best chance because he had he had options on, on, on that moment but um, really pleased nice to see you know the the travelling supporters get a get a, a cheer and a clap at the end because they supported us really well and nice to see them get us a, get a point on the road. They'll appreciate the the whole performance though, Paul, and, and certainly defensively as well. It looked so organised. You kept a clean sheet and really didn't look overly troubled. No, I mean it's you have to have you have to have some nerve when you when you accept possession for the opposition in certain areas. You have to say as a team you have to mentally. Um, uh, I suppose register or acknowledge that we, we've, we'll take certain areas, we'll give them certain areas, and we'll stick to that. And the discipline was excellent. As I said, it was, it was, it was connected, and they engaged in that all the way through. And um, okay, some of our bits of play were messy. We didn't, we didn't deal on leading up to the game on certain technical parts of the game, which in time I'd like to. But what I've got to do is build a, a team team mentality and, 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 a, and an energy and an engagement and we had that today against a really good team that can pass the ball and are threatening at the top end of the, of the table. You brought one player in as well, um, obviously, as of the first. Are we going to see any more? Hopefully. Hopefully we've um, we've identified certain players. It's, it's a lot. Sounds sounds easy than it is. I mean, you know, identifying players going through that process is, is not an easy, an easy task. But we challenged ourselves with bringing a number of players in to support the players we have. Um, um, but those players play to say look like they don't want to lose their shirts, which is great. That's how it should be. It needs to be competitive and also give me the opportunity to rest and move and use different players. And you saw today, Charlie Carter was back. I felt the confidence. I've only seen him in two days training, but he's given me the confidence in those two days to put him on for the last 10 minutes. And he could easily have made something happen today. He put a great cross in and had a shot that somehow managed to hit the chap in the, in the head and when it was flying towards goal. So, you know, I, I want a bench that I can, I can affect things with later in the game. We had that today. And a good confidence boost going to the top of the table. Forest Green, of course, on, uh, on Saturday. Absolutely. Let's look forward to it. You know, it's um, it's good to go and play against a team that's that's pushing at the top end of the pitch and and, and test yourself again. It's good for me. I mean, just arrived to see where we are compared to those teams. Today was a good start. Let's see what we can do on Saturday. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much.